Uh, good morning. Today we're going to talk about the uh, Magic Millions and of course it's uh, the prelude, if you like, to the Autumn uh, Carnival. And each year we provide a Cups package in uh, at the end of the year for the Spring Carnival and we've got a Carnival package for the Autumn. I'm going to tell you about that, then I'm going to give you our prices and assessments for the Magic Millions at the Gold Coast. On uh, Saturday it'll be the 12th of January. Uh, first of all, we give you our top five rated runners in every one of the group races in Sydney and Melbourne, and I'll demonstrate that in the Magic Millions. We get most of the winners, heaps of quinolas, trifectas, and first four. As a matter of fact, last autumn we got an $80,000 first four for our members. So that's just the things you'll get. On a Wednesday night, late, you'll get the early markets Thursday morning and then Friday morning, and then again right through till Saturday, following the market moves and changes in uh, track conditions and what scratchings and so on. In the spring, we had the winner on $101 Quinella in the Derby and winner in the Oaks, $83 Quinella and 660 trifecta in the VRC Sprint Classic. So as I say, in autumn we had a wonderful, wonderful time. Uh, we got a first four of about 12,000. We also got a first four of 80,000 and we got a trifecta around the $8,000 mark. And now, after that information, which, by the way, you can get at winform.chockfactory.com, have a look. You can order it there. It's $1,100. That gets you 14 weeks coverage of all the major races. Okay, and here's our Magic Millions. We're looking at the Gold Coast tomorrow in race eight. The important thing to notice is we've provided barrier penalties, which uh, we create within our GTX program. And uh, you'll see that Hightail has barrier 19, probably the worst off. Uh, barrier 18, Unite and Conquer. It's interesting, in the top five, we've got three of the worst barriers there. However, these are pretty much jump and run types. And as you can see, our prices range from $5.20 rating for Hightail uh, through to uh, $19 here for, sorry, uh, through to $16 here for Zarson, and then Champagne Boom, the Odyssey, and so on. Now, we don't follow the market so much, but uh, what we're going to show you is our assessment. And in that race, we've got Hightail, rated 5.20. At the moment, you can get $15 the win and $4.20 the place. That's a fabulous price, I think you'll agree. Uh, for Dubious, number four, it's uh, the favourite at the moment, $5 into $4.80, although you can still get $5 some place. And number one, Unite and Conquer is a $6 chance. Uh, number 8 exhilarates 5.50 into $5, and Zarson, as I said, number 7, 7.50 into 7, back to 7.5. So really, out of those top five runners, we've um, got our high tail on top at $15. The others are virtually equal favourites in the market. Now let's have a closer look and see where the form came from. It's important to note that the form uh, is the important thing here. If we look at high tail, um, one at Kembla Grange, was a bit unlucky, blocked for a run near the turn, still managed to win on a heavy track over a thousand metres, won by just under a length. Uh, the rating was uh, fairly low, but it was a Kembla Grange event. Uh, then at Randwick on the 29th of December, uh, he managed to finish third beat and one and three quarter lengths behind Movie Roll. Uh, Christian Reith rode that day. I've absolutely got no idea why the horse only ran uh, third but it was fifth at the turn and did uh, move on once it got to a decent distance. So this was on the Randwick inner track and uh, it was lightning fast. 5th of January, uh, it was only a week later and it's not often that Snowden backs up horses over just a week. So there was obviously something amiss on this particular day, which wasn't noted in the stewards report. Nevertheless, he has come out and raced along fourth to the turn, uh, bolted away in the straight, one by uh, over two lengths. Could have been more. As a matter of fact, I had a few dollars on him that day myself. And uh, that's exactly the perfect sort of horse we want. Now, the trick is, is he going to be able to get over from barrier 19? But he's got Hugh Bowen on board. Uh, no one is riding better. So let's move on to the next horse, and Dubious. One at Eagle Farm. Uh, our rating for that race was 52.8. Uh, ran three wide, but still came on from the turn. It's only drawn in barrier seven. It's got uh, Mike Walker on board. A very good rider at Randwick in September and a Group 3 race. It uh, did manage to win there and um, it was wide throughout as it says here, but that's not an issue at Randwick, I can assure you. So, uh, nonetheless, 58.5 is the best rating. That's over 1,000 metres. This is 1,200. 
uh, it's a different proposition to a thousand so we don't know how the horse is going to go over the extra distance no doubt Turin Ma has a fair idea Unite and Conquer on the other hand uh, very much a, uh, a set and run uh, trained by uh, Gay Waterhouse and that's the way uh, her horses are trained is to get out there and do everything they can to be right out there in front so in Flemington on the 6th of October that was down the straight that's always impressive one by two and a quarter lengths uh, reasonably smart time although they often run a similar time there actually run a lot better time at Wyong ran a 59.8 there and uh, was never headed so it was there all the way from the barrier jump and they're saying here well it over raced near the 200 well what the heck you know started six to four on it uh, ran as fast as you like it did just as well over 1100 as the thousand uh, earlier and uh, is going to be a very good chance drawn barrier 18 I don't think it'll start from that I think probably closer to 15 or 16 there are three of the emergencies are drawn uh, in um, um, in such a way as uh, we should be able to see uh, a better, slightly better barrier anyway and it exhilarates by the way uh, it won of the Gold Coast last start, fourth of the turn it did the right thing, it came home it's run a 57 and a 56 in those two runs but uh, it wasn't able to win on that occasion when it ran at Wyong uh, sixth at the turn and did manage to finish second only beaten a length and a bit so uh, the situation is we've got Hightail obviously the further it went 1150 very good run easily the best rating of any horse in the uh, race it's a gelding already it's going to uh, jump and run and uh, we'll probably get a good run sitting about three or four back at the turn and being able to power home over the top we hope but just bear in mind that our rated price is five dollars so really we think it's got uh, slightly less than a one in five chance of winning but nevertheless when you're looking at fifteen dollars a win and four dollars twenty fixed for the place that's a pretty good price now in these races we quite often pick up the quinella and trifecta possibly even the first four uh, and uh, that won't pay all that much because of the short price of the other runners but obviously if high tail features we're going to get a decent price i do wish you good luck for a saturday thanks for watching